Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, we've got space weather, another tropical update, and two key papers on key pre-earthquake signals, including the most famous of them all, which hasn't been published about for a few years, the cyclone quake trigger. But we're starting, as always, with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that things were very quiet apart from some small, confined pops near the coronal hole. All plasma stayed in place, however. No significant flares or eruptions heading our way. Coronal hole turning in, and that's likely to be the next space weather we get. Sunspots stopped growing, leaving only this big, dark opening turning through. It's going to directly face Earth tonight and tomorrow, and its enhanced solar wind will be here early to middle of this coming week. Folks, Hurricane Melissa forecast is tightened, and it is not looking good. Still expected to strengthen extremely quickly, but now also expected not to go as far west before bending north, slamming right into the island of Jamaica. If this forecast holds, it'll be the most devastating thing to hit that island in several years. First article today, why not add another on to the thousand strong pile of papers describing pre-earthquake atmospheric electricity anomalies. It will never cease to amaze me how much the top of the sky reacts the very most until the actual shaking starts in the ground. The other top story today is this, not only hitting the pre-seismic signals in the atmosphere, but the presence of tropical cyclones, typhoons, and hurricanes. This is how we predicted the eight-pointer in Mexico back in 2017 within 10 miles of the epicenter. The global electric circuit sucks current from the crust during significant weather events, allowing for an easier discharge pathway and electrokinetic effects. Folks, I really hope you caught last night's video, the tilt of Earth and how the waves hit North America, with some side action on what a Pacific wave would look like, even though that is not part of our model. To visualize the flip, put your fingers on the new pole positions off the Peruvian coast and in the Bay of Bengal, and then take the Indian spot to the North Pole and the East Pacific spot to the South. Slight angling, but generally, the Americas go to the south, which means the water's going north. We'll do more of these videos, so check out last night's if you missed it. Folks, tickets to our winter tour are going quickly. First event is only a month away in Omaha, Nebraska. Tickets are available below. This is a four-hour masterclass on surviving the coming disaster event on Earth, five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. And we only have a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training November 1st after the Halloween event. Observer Speed Dating 2.0, the 7th and the 8th. Come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Film premiere and last pole shift conference, middle of the month. Come out for the end of our rookie season, ObserverRanch.com. Tickets to the tour are below. And also, folks, today is the last educator day here at Observer Ranch. I will be here all day. Looking forward to seeing you guys out here. We do have pumpkin decorating contests for the kids. There's a bunch of information about 3D printing. Going to be a good food truck here as well. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.